So here we go again, we're doing the eye tracking autofocus area and I've added a bunch of challenges, hats, sunglasses, a combo, added a mask and put all things together, will the focus area track? So standard autofocus area people and I set the focus tracking with lock on at default. So it's just gonna do its basic. This is what we expect in a general scenario. So let's add in some things. First, the hat. How is it going to do? So the idea is the hat brim will shade my eyes somewhat, interfere with focus tracking. How's that working? What do you think? Are my eyes shaded enough? Some will say maybe they're not shaded enough. Well, let's just keep working on this. Let's add sunglasses this time. Again, will the sunglasses interfere? Some people say glasses are a problem. Well, here we go. What do you think? I'm bobbing and weaving and moving around. My trusty model bailed on me today, so I'm making a quick video. This is the last one I'm doing for human eye tracking. I'm going to move on to other things. Combo with a hat and sunglasses. So how does it do? What do you think? I'm out of frame, I'm back, moving around. Here we go, it got me again. It's tracking, it's doing its best. Gonna add a mask this time. This time no hat, just a mask and sunglasses. Kind of wobbling about. And no mask comments, please. It's just helping us to see what interferes or what is a problem for the focus tracking and so far it's doing really good. I think so anyway. There's the combo, mask, hat, sunglasses and I'm jumping around for all of this. I'm going to do a four up in a moment but you get the idea here. You know this is still dim lighting. You notice the ISO is 5000 and here's four scenarios up at once. You can just sort of see again I can't do exactly the same motion every single time but you get the idea of the focus tracking for this camera. So I hope that answers some questions for people.